Supreme Commander Demoman, is the construction on my new battleship finished? Yes, the construction has finished. This is the new Nano Ardama class battleship. It is by far our largest and most powerful battleship. With it, nothing will stand in our way. This is very good news. I believe no fleet or enemy will survive against her. Since she would be your ship, I will give you the privilege of naming her. Excellent. I will name her. The Yuyakta Banya. I wish to move out at once and hunt down and destroy those terrorists that attack Jamaican's fleet. We can't allow them to kill any more of our forces. Unfortunately, she isn't ready yet as she still needs to complete her sea trial. Once completed, she will be ready for service in her maiden voyage. Very well. I just hope someone else will destroy those terrorists before we lose any more lives. On to other matters. I must bring the sea virus subject up again. I understand the need to use it as a deterrent, but this is an absolute dangerous situation that you are allowing to continue if the sea virus leaks. Or if one of the test subjects escapes, the death and damage will be unrepairable. I ask and I plead to you to order medic to cease and discard all development on the sea virus. I'm afraid I can't do that. We need the sea virus for many reasons, not only to use it as a deterrent to discourage insurgents and rebellion. As rebellions are what leads to these terrorists, but also to use it against our enemies and to use it as population control. With all due respect, to avoid our population, would it not be easier to move some of the population to another planet to help the first planet? As we have a lot of the Milky Way galaxy under our control and there are many Earth-like worlds out there. Earth-like worlds that humans can perfectly live on! Or, if we are unable to do that then, as an alternative we could build more space stations and space colonies for people of the Titans to live in. Transporting to other planets! And building colonies cost a large amount of money and resources. Money and resources that could be better used elsewhere. Some populations are not worth the effort. For these populations, it is better for all of us to use population control. Not only for that reason, but to be used as punishment and as an example to our other citizens. To never rebel. To always be loyal to the Titans and to fight against rebellions. Thanks to us Titans, all of us live much better lives than what the Federation could ever give us. Thanks to us! The Titans have expanded our territory so much further than what the Federation ever did. We are so much more powerful than ever before. Thanks to us. Thanks to me. Yes, but in doing so so quickly we have stretched ourselves thin and have been unable to give parts of our nation the necessities and support to live proper lives. Some of our planet sessions and colonies live in poverty. The Federation had plans to expand as well, but they wanted to do it slowly in order to make sure all of their territory was properly supported. Please understand. I'm not trying to criticize you or your rule, Supreme Commander. I'm just voicing my concerns. I understand. And don't worry, these problems will be dealt with. Now returning to the subject of the sea virus. You should not worry, as all development and testing is being done on one of our asteroid bases. If the sea virus were to leak, or if one of the test subjects were to escape, and the infection were to spread, then the asteroid base is ordered to be destroyed by our naval forces. To keep it contained, the project would then resume on one of our other asteroid bases. Yes, this is a good contingency plan, but I've seen movies, played video games, read and heard stories of zombies. These, they're not normal zombies. They're smarter. In my mind, I would rather have zombies. Whereas zombies are just mindless cannibals, these things. They are evil in its absolute form. So please, I can request that this project be cancelled and all development into the sea virus be ceased. I'm sorry, Heavy, but I must deny your request. That is, we need bioweapons for many reasons, as I have said but most importantly to destroy our enemies. I'm sure you know what is best and I will respect your decision, but I fear such decisions will lead to great catastrophes. Before I leave and oversee the Yakub and the AC trials, I must ask, do you think it was a good thing to gas the on in the Raya Republic? What if they truly pose no harm against the Titans? We couldn't take any chances, my friend. 
If left alive, they could have stand in our way and tried to take away and destroy the utopia we have made. Maybe. Maybe. I understand. I will make my leave now. Farewell, my friend! Globox, how are you feeling? After these last few days of resting and healing, I'm feeling much better. I'm glad you're okay, my friend! Look, I'm gonna launch in a big red attack sniper's fleet. Wherever those location data came from, it shows all the routes that his fleet takes. I'm gonna lie and wait in ambush and destroy his fleet. The Titans aren't gonna know what's attacking them until it's too late. Let me come with you. No, after what happened last time, I don't want to risk your life. From now on, I'll be going on my mission solo. No, Rayman, it's too dangerous to go alone. I have to. I'm not gonna put your life in danger anymore. You have a wife and 650 children to be with. I don't want them to lose you as well. I'll be all right, Glowbox. Don't worry. I'm launching now. I'll see you all when I return. Rayman, no! Thankfully, there is a small asteroid field here. I'll use this small asteroid field to my advantage and hide from the enemy. And once they're in a good position, I'll strike. Rayman, I'm glad I caught up to you. Globox, what are you doing here? I know you're worried about me getting hurt or killed, but I can't just do nothing and let you put your life in danger. I can't sit around while you or my family's lives are in danger from the Titans. I'll fight next to you side by side until the end, because you're my best friend. We're in this conflict against the Titans together. And I won't leave your side until we win. Until we are all safe from the Titans and their horrible rule. You're right. You're my best friend, and we're in this together until the end. And like I said, we won't stop fighting until the Titans are defeated. Yeah, let's do this. But are you sure you're able to fight? You haven't completely healed yet. Yeah, I can. Don't worry. Look, here they come. Wait, there's another ship out there. It doesn't look like it's a part of the fleet. It looks like a hospital ship. I don't give a fuck that you're a hospital ship. You could be carrying terrorists and your ship will be destroyed to protect our nation from insurgents. Is this thing off? Good, now I can say what I really want to say without them hearing it. I'm just using the terrorist as an excuse to destroy that hospital ship. If there's nothing I love more, it's killing a lot of innocent people. I just wish I could take them alive so I can torture them. I love hearing their screams as I piss on them and skin them alive. Especially if it's a family. Oh, I love it when I kill their kids right in front of the parents. I love the tears that fall down their faces as they cry for me to stop. Just right before I skin the little bastards. I like to do it vice versa sometimes too. Give the kids trauma. Sometimes I let the kids live with that trauma. Sometimes I kill them as well. I do enjoy torturing people so much. I wonder what would happen if the others knew all the sick shit I have done. They probably wouldn't done anything. Is there that power I'll get away with all this shit? I always wonder why I got an erection doing the things he did to people. But now I know. There's nothing like a torture boner. I can't wait to destroy that hospital ship and see all the people burst into flames and die painfully. Might just wipe myself while watching. I hope they die so and painfully. I can just hear their screams now as I imagine them all die. They'll die in space slow and painfully, just the way I like it. It's going to be so good. Wait, has that thing been on this entire time? I thought I turned it off. I bet they heard everything. This is Rear Admiral Sniper. Video weapons and destroy that hospital ship. That piece of shit sniper is a sick fuck. He's going to pay for everything. I never knew such a horrible person could exist. Globos are targeting a hospital ship. We have to save them. Come on. All right, let's go. <laughs> Globox, let's do this together. It's time to finish this. All right, I'm right beside you. This Descent. ends it. No, I can't die here. <laughs> Globox, we did it. We won. The rear animal is dead. It looks like they lost an expensive ship as well. We struck a massive blow against the Titans today. Not only did they lose their rear animal, but they also lost a lot of ships. Good. The hospital ship is safe and is leaving. We did it. We save them. The last of this Titan's fleet is surrendering and he's trying to leave. Should we destroy them before they get away? No, unlike them, we're not monsters. They've already given up. Let them go. We need a Globox. We won our first major victory against the Titans. Come on, let's return home. Most unfortunate with what happened to Rear Admiral Sniper's fleet. Mostly for the reason that the fool cost us so many of our ships, and lost a battle to only to terrorists. God damn that fucking absolute worthless sack of shit! That fucking worthless incompetent idiot cost us one of our expensive capital ships! 
I fucking wish I was a goddamn fucking new type! Because if I knew that fucking worthless, useless piece of fucking shit would cost us over half of that fleet, I would have fucking killed that incompetent son of a fucking bitch myself! The fact that that worthless shitful brains lost to two measly insignificant fucking insurgents proves how fucking incompetent he fucking was I should have made someone else rear admiral! I don't want any fucking goddamn funeral for this prick. No one is to remember him in any fucking positive way. He is only to be fucking ridiculed. I am making today a holiday. Today is humiliating ridicule sniper day. I want a giant fucking poster of sniper and I want fucking everyone to throw fucking shit and everything fucking else at it. I want a goddamn fucking thing covered in piss and shit. And when you're fucking done, I want you to burn the fucking goddamn thing. I want his fucking parents dead. I want them to be fucking violently ripped apart and murdered by fucking emus. I know they're not Austrians, fuck I mean Australians. But I'm too fucking pissed to give a shit. I want his parents covered in maple syrup and fucking killed by Canadians. And don't fucking stop there, kill any other family he may have. Even fucking kill his adoptive parents if they're even still fucking alive. I want his whole fucking bloodline destroyed. I'm going to fucking make someone pay for this failure. Supreme Commander, if I may, we now have one Rear Admiral gone. If I may, I request that I be promoted for Lieutenant Commander to Rear Admiral. Even though your fleet lost only a few ships, you and your fleet did very well against those terrorists. Very well, Jamaican. I promote you to Rear Admiral. Do not fail me as that fucking worthless incompetent piece of shit has. You do not need to worry, Supreme Commander. I will not fail you. Good. Those rebels might have won today, but we know what the immobile armors they use. Sooner or later, I will have them all killed.